Hey everyone, welcome to Figure Fantasy. So today, Vivian, on our discussion for her guide, her strategy, we'll start off, guys, with her skills. Um, for her attack, I think Vivian is um, is most important because of her basic attack. It's uh, going to be spiral pullback fling, range six shots, attack prior attacks prioritize the f attacks prioritize the front most enemy in the current row attack speed is intermediate that is why you have to boost her up in terms of attack speed increase her attack speed trigger a powerful dart that deals additional damage every after every three basic attacks and and and, um, and a mark to the current target and another random enemy so we'll talk about more about that mark so upgrade effect of the basic attack is boosts the damage from basic uh level two and three so it's going to be a combined 50 percent boost for basic attack so off to her ultimate skill wilderness wild of freedom initial energy is four so regeneration rate is six purify one random uh, debuff effect from all allied figures and randomly attack the enemy four times okay so the the catch of this one is um let's say for example if you encounter a uh, a sakura then she silences your team you're actually just going to hope that she doesn't silence you because uh if she silences you first you cannot you know remove the debuff effect from all your allied figurines okay so upgrade effect level two when the random attack hits different targets increase damage dealt by 50 percent okay number of random attacks is going to be plus one so instead of four this is going to be five um she's actually more prized because of her passive so ericsson falcon basic attacks of ultimate attacks can basic attacks or ultimate attacks can detonate the marks applied by basic attacks to deal additional damage when a mark deals a crit the damage dealt is increased uh by additional 80 percent Okay, so if it deals a critical damage, so it's important that you increase her crit rate. Okay, when when you do this, as additional damage goes to your enemy. So upon upgrade, so level two, add a mark to all enemies when the battle starts. So this is very useful because early damage for your enemies. Then level three, all debuffs are instantly purified. While the enemy who applied the debuff will gain a mark. So there is also instant purification. So aside from the other one in terms of linking to her ultimate, I think I think her best um you know her best skill is in her passive because these do not you know do, do not need um conditions these trigger so again uh, adding marks then uh, the debuff is actually instant once that that enemy um that gave you a debuff gets a mark so again very good passive better than her ultimate so again damage for her if you build her well is going to stack well and deal a lot of damage definitely so last is going to be her special great adventure skill boost the damage dealt by basic attacks by 12 percent so this would really help her and uh, level two and three increase both crit rate and crit damage by 10 percent boost the damage dealt from basic attacks by 18 percent so again even her special is going to help her a lot okay so let's move on to her strengths and uh, weaknesses so definitely attack is one of her strength defense um kind of bit health is really going to be a concern because um my experience right now she's a two-star peach she's really really squishy especially if you're in, in advanced stages already um i don't think she can survive that well you have to really um take her up to either three star peach four at least that is the minimum for her uh better if you could take her up to five because she will you know she will uh, give dividends in terms of what she can do for your team okay so let's do uh go to the parts that uh, she is equipped with starting with her badge so her badge the recommend the recommended 
badge is going to be Eternal Nightmare Badge. Because of the boosting of attack speed, basic attacks have a 21% chance to bounce lightning off four times each dealing damage equal to 80% of attack. So definitely this is going to be a perfect pair for her because you want to increase her attack. If you don't have this, this, um, what do you call this? This uh, badge, you can actually use, uh, let's try to find if I have one here. No. So the other badge that I'm referring to is, let's take a look at some of the figures that I have here. It's going to be a purple badge. This is the one. So if you don't have uh, Eternal Nightmare, you will actually need this one. So uh, this is going to be End Time Divini uh, Divinity Badge. Basic attacks have a 30% chance to deal extra damage equal to 140% of attack. This is actually good as well. So the, those are both the badges that I'm recommending for her. If you don't have this one, then go for the purple one, which is End Time Divinity Badge. Okay. So with her gear, there are only two recommendations, probably three. Um, if you don't, you know, if you don't uh, have these. So the recommendations for her would be either a crit, critical set, or a will set. So I have a lot um, lying around, especially for will set. I haven't used this with other figures, so I have them at Peach already. But for the critical set, definitely you will need this to increase her crit rate to trigger some of the effects there as, you, as I mentioned earlier. So as you can see here, if you see... Um, the overview, um, this is a lot of, you know, there's a lot of bonuses. So right now I'm giving her a uh, plus 30 in terms of uh, this is going to be crit rate 10. So the total, I, I think I have uh, I have the other 30 somewhere. So uh, the, the other 10 somewhere. So right now she's at plus 30. If I take if I take this and put a critical set there, that's going to be an initial 15. So crit rate should be high minimum of 70 um maximum of 85 perhaps or probably if you could have it better then you know it would be the best so right now i'm actually going to try a little bit of crit damage because i'm i haven't used crit damage yet with all with the other figures that i have but crit damage the plus 15 that i get from here so it's a total of 190 percent crit damage so as you can see there, a lot of, you know, a lot of uh, triggers and um, the percentage is high already. So this is also good. If you don't have these sets, um, you also might consider um, your attack set, which is... I want to show you guys an attack set. So this is your attack set, but it's a set of four. If you have um, one attack set and one critical set, that's also good. Uh, because um, it's going to be four for attack set and two for critical set. So those are my recommendations for the parts, the parts that she has. Her team composition. She, she would like. She, she's actually smashable in any content. You know, in any team comp, as long as you protect her in the back line. She's too squishy right now for a two star peach that I cannot really demo to you guys because I actually tried her out in some of the content that we have, but definitely she dies early because of her low hp and low level as well so zhao yu this guy is definitely one of the you know one of uh, the partners for her because of um him giving her more attack speed so that is where he really helps her and uh, she needs a lot of defenders guys defenders healers on that team so if you are tenma i'm going to build a tenma team definitely she'll be together with zephyr she'll be together with crusos uh probably zarola if you need another frontliner you'll be bringing rin so those are the four then you put her there as their specialist then she could really do wonders for you especially that you have zephyr there for additional energy she could really cast her ultimate as frequent as 
possible. So that is my suggested team comp. Um, for the content, um, not really. Again, I don't really have a demo for you guys. Again, uh, you'll be disappointed on how low the level of my what they call this of my Vivian is. So definitely for the content, Code V is one that you should uh, consider take her, taking her in because of the mobs. Also for Azazel, I think Azazel is one of the best stages for her. Just have to take care of her. And there are a lot of targets in the team, so more or less she'll be okay. As long as, again, you take her to three or four star Peach, she will actually be more you know, survivable if you have her at that level. Okay, so also recommended is Nightmare, Odyssey, and Campaign. You can use them in all those content as well. Um, again, she is not your, she's not going to be your top tier specialist. She she will be one tier below your top tier, but that's not bad actually. So she has her place in the game and she has her uses. She's not very niche as some of um, some of the figures that we have. So more or less, she can supplement your damage dealing if you have her if you have her built right especially and um just want to give you guys my final thoughts okay again just want to repeat i actually just already said it um build her right to make her shine so including parts the right parts the right gear level her up get copies of her um i know um a lot of you guys are considering you know uh leveling her up but i think she'll she'll be good um i'm trying to build her up up to at least four for star peach before you know the the event ends or before we could uh, you know her her banner ends but again i think she's going to be key in some of the stages especially for pve um another key just want to repeat this increase her damage output crit set will set and also attack set if you don't have both and survivability is her key right now she's too squishy with her low level so again the only the only solution there would be to increase her level this level not the 220 max level this level the tiering in terms of stars she needs to at least be three or four uh, preferably five at least uh, for you for her to really shine in your lineup so that's it guys so so far i hope this guide uh, helped you and more or less um thank you guys for staying this far and uh, i know this video yeah, it has been long but again i wanted to give you guys a more you know a more uh comprehensive guide in terms of how to play her what is her place in our game and definitely she has a place um especially for beginners who you know started recently you if you you know if you're here right now and you are summoning for her please do because she'll help your team a lot okay guys thank you very much again for staying this far and take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here